a lot of kids want laughs, you know, and picking on someone and, and making fun of them and making other people laugh makes you feel good because you feel like you're the funny guy in the group. You feel like you're the popular one. It's gross, you know, it's disgusting seeing that. It's so hard, I think, to be the one that stands up and be that one in the crowd that says, no, this is wrong. I think the easiest stance to take is to just be a bystander and watch, and I feel like that's one of the worst stances that you can take. We live in a society where everybody wants to fit in. Be courageous. Don't blend in. Stand out. If that means that you have to take some harsh words from that bully in order to ease the load off somebody else, do that. If you don't stand for something, then you'll fall for anything. You don't need that shit! No! There are so many times where you have a bad game where you, you screw up and you do something and you've got 15 private messages from anonymous accounts telling you you're the worst person in the world, you should kill yourself, you should, you know, you should retire, you're, I hope your family dies. It's horrible, horrible stuff where at this point in my life as an adult, I know that what they're saying doesn't matter because they're anonymous. They went out of their way of their day to try and destroy me. The more that you can be genuine and the more that you can say, hey, you know, today wasn't a great day, but tomorrow the sun's gonna come up and there's there's hope for there's hope for you on the horizon, um, I think the better. Usually the people that are doing the bullying have insecurities of their own and that's why they're lashing out. You know, at a young age, kids getting bullied can really, you know, throw them into depression. It could, you know, create fear in their own mind of being who they are and who they wanna be because someone else doesn't agree with it. You know, it can be detrimental to kids. I'll never forget it, I was in kindergarten and there was a, a girl sitting across from me and she looked over at me and told me that I had buck teeth. I mean, I went home and I cried and laid in bed and I was like, I, I don't want to smile for anybody, you know? It took me a long time to get over that. You, know, you just have to understand that it's not necessarily about you. It's that person has other issues, other insecurities that they're just lashing out onto you. You know, there's a lot of things that, that go on behind the scenes in the clubhouse and away from the field that people don't see. There's so many you know, old school ways in baseball of hazing rookies. So I get into to pro ball in my first year and I come in from, from a workout to get ready for the game and I go to put my shoes on and they're filled with shaving cream. And it was such a harmless prank, but I don't know why I got so bothered by it. And I didn't know if I felt like I needed to like stand my ground as the rookie and like, you know, hold my ground and, and kind of fight back or if I needed to just laugh it off. And so uh, I was walking around and I see a bottle of shaving cream in the bottom of one of the guy's locker. And uh, I said, you put that shaving cream in my shoe? And he goes, no, 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 look, it's in mine too. And there's like a little squirt. So in my head, I'm thinking he put a little squirt in his to, to make me think it wasn't his. I was mad, man. I was super mad. I didn't really know the guy that well. So we ended up going at it in the clubhouse and screaming and, and grabbing each other by the shirt and guys came over and told me that, hey man, you got back down. It's just, you know, it's a harmless prank. You just, you know, you gotta let those things go. And we ended up laughing about it and he was uh, kind of ended up being one of my better friends. He actually ended up helping me come out of my shell a little bit and understand how things are supposed to be run in a professional clubhouse. Playing with, you know, with different teams, you come across so many different kinds of people and people from different walks of life, different backgrounds and upbringings. You know, you run into constant conflicts with players and, you know, when you look at the work side of it, you got to do your best to stay professional and, you know, whatever your conflicts are and your issues with that person, you got to put that aside and be able to, to focus on your job and work. It takes real guts to step up to a conflict and say, look, I screwed up. This is my fault completely and I'm sorry that I hurt our relationship. And if you're on the receiving end of that, it takes a lot of guts to say, you know what, I forgive you. It's better to forgive someone and let it go than to hold on to that grudge or whatever it may be because you're never going to grow as an individual. I'm not saying that you have to necessarily continue to be friends with that person, but you can forgive them and move on with your life and know that you don't want to surround yourself with people like that anymore. You know, you start to try to put yourself in other people's shoes a little bit and, and understand where they're coming from and try to sit and actually listen and hear what they're saying. 
people coming from different areas and different walks of life and you never know what they've been through, you know. Maybe the things that you're arguing or fighting about is something they've been through in their past and they're a little bit sensitive about it and, um, you know, that's something you don't know about as opposed to just moving on and realizing that, you know, they're coming from a different place than you are. You know, middle school and high school, there's times where you feel like you're left out, you feel like you're excluded, and nothing hurts more than thinking that you're involved with something and thinking that you're a part of something and then they tell you you're not. You see the hurt on the face one time of somebody that gets excluded and it breaks, it breaks my heart. I've been a lover and a guy that always wants to build people up. Um, I've never wanted to, to destroy somebody and, and make them feel unwelcome. And um, I've always tried to go out of my way and help people feel like they are included, um, even if it's the acquaintance, even if, it, even if it's the person that wasn't really invited or wasn't the person that you haven't really been getting along with. You are who you surround yourself with. I used to be a kid that can adapt to whatever group of people I was around. You know, I didn't really have an identity. I didn't really know who I was or what I believed in. I just wanted to fit in and I just felt lost. You know, I didn't feel like I, I really knew who I was or what I wanted to do. I was, you know, creating different personalities for the groups I was around just to fit in. You know, I stopped trying to be somebody and I just, you know, started being myself and the guys that enjoyed me for who I was and liked being around me for the things that I believed in. Um, those became my closest friends. People are gonna have their opinions about you. You just have to be strong enough to understand that you're not what other people think of you. You are who you are and you are a product of all your actions. It's so crucial to, to find that support system and have that support system um, and not bottle everything up inside. If you try to go through things alone, it just feels like everything's out to get you and it's uh, really really easy to be negative. Uh, I just think it's one of the biggest things is to find somebody that you trust and uh, just communicate with them how you're feeling. True happiness is, is loving yourself, being selfless, being kind, um, you know, being thankful for all the blessings that you do have and, and not thinking about it in terms of what other people have. It's not a, it's not a comparison. Hang in there, there's hope. The sun will come out, dig in there and find that support system and never give up. Forgive and forget who we all end up alone.